Hi team and welcome back. Sorry uh, we haven't been more active. It's been crazy here. We've had ranges going down left, right and centre. Closing, weather's been a mess. Um, it's still raining outside so I still can't get to the range at the moment. I did put uh, a thread up however asking you guys what you just wanted to see more of and a lot of you wanted more through the scope footage uh, and some more training orientated content which is sweet that's what we're trying to do it's just getting to the range uh, to do that is a little bit hard i did manage to find some old footage however um, not through this particular scope but it'll be a good uh, training aid uh, for this uh, particular video so basically this one here we're just going to go through and show you what uh, probably the biggest error we see on our courses um, and what it looks like through the reticle and how we're going to sort of uh, navigate that to fix it. So what a lot of shooters we see do is rely too much on the rear bag. So basically what they're doing is getting the rear bag, putting it down, nestling in there and go, that's my natural point of aim done. Under recoil, however, we'll just replicate recoil by hitting it. You can see straight away that the firearm is just coming back and riding back on that bag. It's not falling back on target. So what you're gonna see through your scope and what you're gonna see through the, uh, in the footage that we're gonna put up is the reticle's gonna come up, um, the recoil pulse is gonna happen and it's gonna go up on a 45 and sit there. Yeah, on the smaller calibers you can see the fall of shot and the impact to make a follow-up follow -up shot, but with the bigger calibers, it's just bad practice. A, you're not gonna get the feedback and the data you need to make that follow-up shot, and it's just bad practice. You don't wanna be doing that. What you do wanna uh, see, however, or do, is get that positive engagement um, or proper interface between your shoulder and the firearm. So under the recoil, so when it comes back, it's coming straight back, you're absorbing it, and then it's going straight back on target. And A, you're gonna have a lot quicker follow-up shot. You can still spot your shots, and you don't have to alter anything when you're going from your little sixes up to your three three eights and stuff like that. You're still gonna have that same shot process throughout all your cartridges. People get lazy when they start shooting the little sixes um, because the recoil is so minimal. They just do it and then when they get to those bigger calibers, I've been, I've been um, guilty of it myself sometimes. But we'll roll the first couple of uh, shots and that there will be not properly interfacing with the firearm and relying too much on the rear bag. So you can see how the reticle went up left because I'm a right hander but it didn't come back down on target. Let's fire another one. One more. So you can see those inconsistencies there straight away. Yeah, you're getting the feedback, but it's just bad practice. Um, what we're gonna do is go through the next couple of shots. We're gonna remove the bag and we're gonna interface with the firearm correctly and then bring the bag in just to take that wobble out. That way you can check your natural point of aim and all that sort of stuff whilst it's shouldered in your firearm. Because when you absorb it, the, the if you're not naturally aligned, the reticle is going to tell you and if it's going off on a 45 just when you're doing a breathing cycle you know you're not aligned if you're going up high right shuffle your hips over to the right until you see that reticle start squaring up and going up and down then you just got to worry about your breathing and that's the hardest bit done <coughs> or one of the hardest bits done so we'll roll the next couple of shots and you'll see a massive difference in how we're managing that recoil and how quickly we can get that center crosshair back on target again so we'll roll them uh, and then we will just continue on doing some through the, uh, through the, I don't know why I struggle saying that word today. Um, we'll keep going through with, uh, some through the scope, um, training episodes and stuff like that and see how that goes. Um, 
enjoy the vid if you like it subscribe and stuff like that it helps me out and the people who give me a hand um, helps them out too so yeah guys hope you like it and i'll catch you next vid now I'll shoulder it properly Alright, you can see there the reticle comes back onto plate. And it looks like I could come up 0.1, come up 0.1, and put another one on.